What's up guys, BB from Phil Card here. I have bought a lot of cards from Amazon in the past, but these cards, and these cards, and just recently, I got some more. The cards were cool, but they cost $15. I did buy them, but my goal is to not spend over $15 on a single deck. So this is basically the most I've spent on a deck of cards and I got two of them. So, they better be freaking fantastic. Potat was back here. Oh my gosh, it's so slippery. <laughs> More cellophane? Zizen Goot. The Velvet Eyecatcher Playing Cards by the German company Eyecatcher. This is their fourth deck and so they had experience in making cards and this came back, this came out back in April of 2019. Now because these cards were $15 on Amazon, I wanted to see how much they were on their website. $22 after conversion, so I got a deal. And these cards are not trash. In fact, the eye catcher motto, motto is life is better, open parentheses, our, our, close parentheses, cards. They work to create high quality cards. Now the most important thing about a deck of cards is the design, whether you like it or not. So before buying these, I looked at as many pictures as I could to decide whether or not I like them. I think they look really, really cool. Something I did not expect to like was the textured colorway and geometric design. One of my favorite things is when you do move like a fan or under pressure, you can see the lines repeating over and over and over again. The tuck box looks like this. You can see it says velvet with this navy blue background with red like cream and coffee. On the back is the back design with the eye catcher logo in red. And then the lines extend past the sides. And then on the bottom is some ad information. Nothing on the top. Opening the flap, there's nothing and it's actually um, white. You can see that's got the red logo with the lines extending to the border. And then the background's this 
uh, navy blue with some red. Then it's got this mini border, white lines. You can see the lines going up and down so you can clearly tell it's printed by Cardamundi. Taking a look at the cards. Here's your Joker. Pretty dull with just some lines. And here's your identical Joker. And you also get a double backer and a blank card for magic. However, I don't really see myself using these for magic because they cost $15. I'll give you guys a bit to look at the rest of the cards. The pips are mostly Cardamundi standard with the reds being slightly lighter and the court cards being a bit retro. Here's what the deck looks like. Alright, enough with the design of the deck and right on into the handling. So, I've already had these for 24 hours, but going back to whenever I first put them out of the box, the edges were nice and smooth, fans were good because it was really slippery, and um, it's printed on Cardamundi's thicker stock with their uh, iconic B9 finish. And it springs really well. The cards feel soft and broken in already. For Feralink, they're okay. For the dribbling and riffling motion, here's what an anaconda looks like. Uh, you might have seen at the beginning whenever I first dribbled them, they were really good. And usually that motion takes some time, but these were just good out of the box. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Eyecatcher, thank you for putting these awesome decks on Amazon for exactly $15. Oh, I think I've started a new skill. So I made uh, four of these little it's called Beggary, and it's basically a skill toy where you just do tricks with uh, a string and two beads at least. And so you just kind of fling it around and do tricks with it. I've only been doing it for a little over a week, so this is pretty much all I can do. Got my other one right here. And I've also been doing it in the left hand too, uh, so that way I can just do it in both. Yeah, so I think you get the point. Danke und auf Wiedersehen.